This is the ZR2 Colorado at a whole new level. Hey, it's Tim Pickup Truck Plus. I should be talking today. I'm in the desert outside of Palm Springs, California. I have the Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. In this video, let's go ahead and talk about the exterior and what's new with the Bison, why it makes a difference in the ZR2. We'll talk about the interior, show you that a little bit, and I'll do some off-roading, and we'll tell you how it really stacks up and why it's so cool off-road. So let's go ahead and start with the exterior. So this is the American Expedition Vehicles. They're a, a huge aftermarket company, and they make some parts now for in collaboration with General Motors. In this case, it's a Chevy, and we have this steel bumper on the AEV edition, steel bumper, and we have the um, fog lamps there as well. We have a one and a half inch suspension lift, so we have a little bit taller, 35 inch tires. We have Multimatic DSSV dampeners, and we have some Multimatic gels control, which bump, and they're basically uh, bump stops. So, so let me, I'll turn the tire here in a minute. We'll talk a little more about that. We have some rock rails on the side. We have a crew cab. This is a short box. It's the only way they make the, the Colorado anymore. ZR2 Bison there, and we have some steel bumpers here as well with the D-ring for recovery points. And so, steel bumpers, AV badging, 35-inch tires, one and a half inch suspension lift, different drive modes, Baja modes, and stuff like that. And then this is actually this is a good spot right here. So this is a Multimatic DSSV damper. It replaces the shock and it has additional fluid in there, additional settings to allow you to off-road more comfortably. This is a jealous control. So this typically is your bump stop, which is where the frame comes down and you, you stop the uh, bed from hitting in the frame and causing metal on metal damage. They actually take this off and they put this unit in here and it allows you to go faster off road without worrying about hitting the bump stops. This setup here with the DSSV dampers and the gels control is on all four wheels. And so again, you take the the pneumatic, which is or uh, urethane, which is a plastic bump stop off, and bolt this in, and then you can run faster through the desert without smacking that body on or the bed on the frame, metal on metal. So again, it's all for well that kind of driving, really fast off road, some rock crawling, not you know depending on what you're doing, but a lot of it is just speed. We want speed. So uh, we have the same kind of setup you've seen in different Colorados. We have the same crew cab setup, vents back there. This is a radio we're using for off-roading. And then we have over here, inside the truck. Yes. We have some really kind of cool stitching here as well. The same kind of interior you see in a Colorado. Plus we have the AEV sticker here, or the, uh, on the embedded, not sticker, but AEV logo on the headrest. This has 944 pounds of payload, even with all the off-road capability on this. And then I'll go ahead and hop in which is a bit of a challenge for short guys like me. 5'7", five, 5'8", five, with boots on. Maybe I should have worn my boots. <laughs> um, so we inside the cabin. This is the same as you see in the ZR2. I think we're going to have a uh, or the, uh, Chevrolet as well, the Colorado. And so there we go. So we have the control modes. We have the shifter, wireless charger, USBs. This is electronically locking rear differential, electronically locking front differential. So... You get both in this vehicle. I'll turn it on because it's hot out here in the desert. Now we do have the tires that are underinflated. We've been off-roading, so you take this some fresh out of tires. We have your controls here in the screen, and we can kind of go through these. Different hits over there, and then different hits over there. So uh, where it is? Oh, here's the screen. I always forget how this works. So they have different uh, different screens behind there on a digital display. And yes, and then we have some cameras which are highly useful off-roading. We have a, okay, so we have some front cameras here. We have some rear cameras. We can look and zoom in even more, zoom in out. We have different sides. We have a round view. This is a trailering camera if we have something trailering. And then we can look at the hitch. We can look at the bed. Underneath, we have the underneath camera, which is useful for rock crawling and things like that, or we're gonna hit something. And then it shows the front and the back. So you can pick your view there, and that's pretty cool. Then we can see different views these are really interesting views of the undercarriage. And then boom, we can do all that undercarriage. Lots of good visibility. If you haven't seen this lately, this is your controls for your headlights up there. It's not over there, that's gone. And again, we have the different drive modes, which if I turn, if I turn this, I can see the different drive modes in the CR2 Bison. So yeah, just like the Colorado, we do have Baja mode, which is different than the, some of the, the I believe the ZR2 has a, the Baja mode as well. 
And then, yeah, you get all of these different modes. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the, the comments, but I believe they all get the same modes. But yeah, that is the ZR2 Bison. So let's go off-roading and I'll do some voiceover and tell you what this cool thing we're doing off-roading here in the desert. Okay, this is Johnson's Valley. This is outside of um, Palm Springs in California. This is an off-road kind of course, it's like a big playground. And so we're going up these rocks and this is the biggest deal with the, the ZR2 Bison is that suspension lift and you have the bigger tires, but also I think the thing that keeps getting missed a lot are the steel bumpers. The steel bumper is an amazing addition to this. You can hit rocks and not fear about your entire bumper being caved in, which is something you can't do on the ZR2. So, you know, this, this Bison's probably gonna be six grand on top of the ZR2 price. So, I mean, you're looking at a truck that's, this is like a $60,000 truck right here. It, it is. However, a lot of people are buying that Trail Boss or that ZR2 and putting steel bumpers on them. And so this comes from factory or from, uh, I believe it's factory installed, with the steel bumpers, could be dealer. And you have the all the aid assistance work, all your sensor stuff and everything works. You don't have to worry about trying to do it yourself. And as somebody who's done that myself, I can tell you, uh, buy it. <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier. Um, but it is fun to kind of build it yourself too. There, there's both sides of that. And this, uh, you can see here, the suspension working. And that gel control is the one that's straight up and down is to the left of that yellow thing which is the cover for the dssv dampener and the jaws control it basically bolts in there and it keeps that frame from the body touching metal on metal touching so you can low speed rock crawl um, terrain mode is really good in this truck terrain mode gives you one pedal driving or you can go out and do a lot of high speed stuff but either way i mean it's it's such a beast off-road it's hard to like say anything negative against it. It's got a short wheelbase, it fits in trails well, it's got the bigger tires, you have lockers, you can go high speeds with the joust controls, you can go slow speeds like we're doing here, you have the front camera to see stuff around, we have quite a bit of wheel articulation, really good ground clearance, really good breakover angle, and really good departure angle. All the key metrics you need in an off-road truck. And so uh, this is not gonna be a big volume seller. GM's probably gonna sell maybe three, 4,000 of these per year of the Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. But for those customers who really need the capability and really want to have fun and maybe toy some, or tow some toys out the desert, play around with those, or tow a small camper, go out there and play around their truck, I mean, it, it, this is it's hard to beat this ZR2 Bison. Okay, there you go. There is the details on the Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. Uh, again, driving it down the road, I don't get very much road noise from the tires. You still can hear them. And I've been told that over time, as those tires wear, you may get a little more road noise. And then you steering, you can feel the steering just a little bit as you're driving down the road. Other than that, this is a really cool rig. And I can see somebody who could make this into a toy and have a really good time on the weekends out here in the desert or up in the mountains or wherever you want to go, this might be one of the coolest versions of the Colorado yet. What do you guys think? Put your, down, put your comments down below. What do you guys think of this one? Check out the other videos over here. Website down below as well. PickupTruckTalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.